What's good, YouTube? Hope all is well with you. Devalian Scents coming at you once again with another fragrance review. I have done it once again, but before I get to what I did, uh, shout out to all of my subscribers. I appreciate each and every one of you who are subscribed and those who are uh, not subscribed but you're still viewing. I appreciate your viewership. Uh, appreciate this road to the first 1,000 that we're on pace for. And uh, again, very thankful, very grateful. So we're getting into, yes, I've done it again. I, you're welcome. But um, yeah, the newest kids on the block when it comes to Creed, uh, I, I would say that these two releases, uh, Delphinus and Centaurus, are they're probably, to me, their best releases since Aventus. I know they've had a lot of uh, releases and a lot of good fragrances. Some I call them great, some don't like them at all. But uh, everything pre-Aventus, uh, was, it was, you know, there were some nice ones. I love Virgin Island Water. Uh, but since Aventus, I haven't seen to me or smelled anything as good from Creed as these two. And we're starting with, in this video, Centaurus. So that's Centaurus. And it is the House of Creed. That you get into, it's mostly just description on the inside there. Mostly just description on the inside, but then you go, of course you have the sample here. And I'll go ahead and let you see this. I was gonna read the notes. According to Fragrantica, uh, main accords are warm, spicy, uh, amber, vanilla, powdery, sweet, tobacco, woody, cinnamon, balsamic, and aromatic. And I would definitely say what separates uh, this one from Delphinus, I think the biggest note separation is uh, the cinnamon. So we'll get down to uh, the actual notes here. Uh oh, hold on. All right, so top notes are tobacco, cinnamon, cardamom, and pink pepper. Middle notes are sandalwood, patchouli, heliotrope, jasmine, and geranium. And base notes are benzoin, bourbon vanilla, tolu balsam, tonka bean, and embroxin. And so here we have the actual sample here. Live and direct from a sample king. What? That is not the right way, sir. All right, so Centaurus. And I have already smelled these before. So it gives me a good amount to work with. And uh, I'll say, I'll tell you I'll, in both videos, just in case you only watch one of the videos and don't watch the other one, what the difference is to me in terms of should you own both. Again, these prices are egregious, so I'm not in a position myself to buy either one of these fragrances. So I'm not gonna tell you to do the same, do the same uh, to do that either. So. But man, I love the cinnamon in this one. The tobacco comes through uh, and the pepper comes through, the pink pepper and the cardamom. I get all four of those. Again, having smelled fragrance oils before and smelling the spices, it starts to get, to get you more familiar with picking up where what these scents actually are, what these notes are in fragrance. I will say from previous wearing, I did get the sandalwood. I definitely got the patchouli and the patchouli is very nice in this. I won't say that I got heliotrope, uh, jasmine, not really, uh, not really geranium, but then definitely get um, benzoin, vanilla, and tonka bean. And then to me, the cinnamon stays throughout the fragrance, top, middle, and dry down. And this is just, this is an excellent fragrance in my opinion. So for me, when it comes to Centaurus, the difference that I would say for, both for cold weather, uh, but what I would say with the difference between this and uh, Delphinus is, it's not saying that Delphinus is weak, but this one just projects more and it's bolder in the sense that um, uh, it's uh, just stronger in terms of the notes. So I would say if you were to have both, Centaurus would be for outdoors and Delphinus would be for indoor. 
Delphinus works indoors because you'll be near a lot of people in a confined space and Delphinus is gonna just walk up to you and say, hi, how you doing? Centaurus is outside. Centaurus is outdoors and it's like, hey, what's up? How you doing? That's the difference. <laughs> so, but both are good. Like I said, both are very good. And I thoroughly enjoy this. I do believe it's full bottle worthy, but I'm not telling you to go out and buy it because it is with $500 plus. And I think it's still only one size. Last time I went into a store and confirmed, still only one size. So $500 plus dollars. If you got it like that, you got it like that. But I would definitely say try a sample first. But this is definitely a full bottle worthy fragrance. Very good in Centaurus. Check out my Delphinus review. It'll be up soon. Uh, again, this is Devalian with Devalian Scents. I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. Please continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe as we continue to grow this channel. And I'll see you in the next video.